Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some new information about what could be coming after festival football, after Summer Stars is over because of a car design that was added to the code late tonight, just a couple hours ago, heading into the Wednesday on FIFA 21. And that is this car design right here, footies. We are looking at the footies, in my opinion, footies nominee car design. I don't think this is the official design. Again, we'll talk about it, but this looks to be like footies, right? Now, the one thing we incorporate and the one thing that we've known with footies is the color pink, right? And of course, this is a mostly pink card, and that is why we have our excitement building. This is usually the time of the year when footies comes, but with the way they did the festival football this year, covering the Euros and the Copa America with Path to Glory cards and Summer Stars, and with some of these items being so high rated, I was really wondering if footies is going to happen, and it looks like it is. Now, there's huge potential, right? We're going to look back into FIFA 19, talk about what footies is, what footies has done. But again, with the cards that we have in this game, with a 99 Neymar, 99 Messi, 99 Ronaldo, 97 Di Maria was dropped yesterday, and all of these like Path to Glory cards, all of these new cards that have hit the market recently with their insanely, insanely high ratings. I mean, just look at some of these items like this Acuna, the Foden, the Firmino going to a 99 with the upgrades, this Cavani, like they're really going to have to juice these cards up and make them look like summer stars to keep this interesting. Because if they do lower tier cards, and we're going to look back at some of the FIFA 19 items, and some of these items in FIFA 21, they've gone all out after team of the season with all these promos here. They're going to have to really keep that sort of level of hype with these footies cards. So again, this was the card design that was dropped again tonight. And why does it have us thinking footies? Well, this is footies from FIFA 19. All of these pink cards, right? This is the footies nominee design with the, I guess, basically a rare gold look to it, but it's basically just pink, right? It's like the rare gold card with pink. Then you have the official award winner footies SPC. So basically what would happen is you would get a player like this Renato Sanchez, who could be a card they could get in this year, they would get a vote, right? And it was community voted. You would log into FIFA. You would get a loan version of these players. And whoever uh, was the loan version that was picked the most, that would be basically the voting. They would get an SBC. These were the top three footies cards that we had in FIFA 19 the last time we had footies. Um... In the game now last year in fifa 20 we had summer heat which was kind of similar to, to footies you know but you know a different twist on it and we also had the preseason promo so this looks like it is going to be footies though and these are the top three cards from fifa 19 at 97 hazard 96 griezmann and a 95 pogba now the first interesting thing to note in fifa 19 they did not go above the team of the season ratings for these cards. Now, this year, they've already gone above team of the season ratings with the Summer Stars and with the PTGs. So I think this year in FIFA 21, they would. But let's talk more about footies. What is footies? Join in celebration of the best content from FIFA 19. Again, this, this went for a long time, July 3rd until August 14th. Again, the biggest part of this was footies items and footies vote, voting. During the first five weeks, you'll have the opportunity to vote for footies players. Uh, on select days, you'll find a player pick when you log in. It would contain three nominees with loans, and then basically the winner would be released through an SBC as an upgraded footies winner item. I think it'd be like a 48-hour waiting period. You would vote, and then two days later, they would release the SBC, um, and the nominee items would stay their own rating they would not upgrade so that's basically the footies concept and it's really cool because usually what they do when they release these footies cards is they put out some of the favorite names and biggest names from the year of fifa some of the most popular items right think about some items in this year that have not gotten special cards yet they were very popular throughout the year jules kunde right he's had a road to the final card he could very well get a footies uh vote be in the footies vote even popular cards that have gotten specials, like again, back in FIFA 19, Hazard had so many special cards throughout the year, but he got it. He was in the footies vote, right? Griezmann, so many special cards. He was in the footies vote. Pogba, so many cards still in the vote, right? It's all about the big name players. We could be seeing players in FIFA 21, like Rashford, like Renato Sanchez, like that Jules Koundé that I mentioned. Some cards that haven't gotten as many special cards throughout the year of FIFA 21, they do try to include in footies. And some of the most hyped up players, the biggest names, right? Like Kent uh, had a Summer Heat card last year. They did the same thing with Summer Heat as they do with footies. Um, so that's kind of the, the biggest part of it is the footies cards, which are usually, unless they're going to do it differently, 
are only SBCs, right? It's a very SBC based promo with SBCs for the cards. Um, and then they do put stuff in packs, but it's not new items, right? It's the best of, and this is something that we've been talking about. We had this last year as a part of the preseason promo as well. They did different batches, right? They did three batches back uh, in the FIFA 19 time period. They were two weeks at a time. They did batch one, batch two, and batch three. And of course, you click this link, and I believe it takes you to like a spreadsheet. This is like a, maybe the link is broken. No, it's still here. So footy's best of packs. Basically, this is a super uh, foot economist thing to do is you look through these spreadsheets like this and you see all the cards that make it into that best of, right? You see all these big names. You can't see the, the type, um, but it shows you the, the, the type of card and it shows you the name of the player that is in. So that is one thing that could be, and I think I'm expecting to see as a part of footies as well. Best of SBCs, if you missed out on some of the many exciting SBCs that were released throughout the year, this could be your chance to complete them again. So they release some of the most popular SBCs at a cheaper price, right? So some big time SBCs that people did this year, they could re-release. Renato Sanchez, Foot Birthday, right? That's the one that comes to mind right away. Those types of cards we could see re-released back into the game. Um, again, it's all up to EA on what the most popular is. They put out the SBCs, but that's a pretty exciting thing to see as well. So reward packs, um, they did another one of those loyalty packs, right? Based on how many days you played, they gave you like an ultimate pack or a mega pack or a rare mega pack or whatever. And they also did objectives uh, for footies items that were made available. So objectives, SBCs, and then best of packs. That's kind of what you can expect for footies and especially those footies cards, right? Now, of course, we had these cards in FIFA 19. I'm showing you these items. In FIFA 20, we had Summer Heat, which was similar, but again, not exactly like it was in FIFA 19. So again, that card design that we do see on Twitter looks to me like the voting. And if they were to start off a footies Friday with a footies card SBC, would there be a possibility that we would get voting today? I really don't think so. I wouldn't expect to see voting today. I would not expect to see that card design dropped in the game today, but I guess it is something that we could see on Friday or very soon. So I would be watching, especially if they, they dropped that card design uh, tonight, heading into Wednesday. That's kind of early, right? I would be very curious to see if that footy stuff does start, if we get a loading screen today on Wednesday inside of FIFA and stuff like that. So that is what you need to know about footies. Again, it's a very big SBC-based promo. We'll take a look at more of that stuff later on this week if that is confirmed to be what that is. I know we're kind of taking that one idea and running with it, but it really seems like that is going to be what is happening very soon after this promo of Summer Stars and Festival Football is up in FIFA 21. Now, let's take a step back and talk about what's going on inside of the game in the moment as well. Yesterday, we had a 97 Angel Di Maria SBC. That has some people thinking that maybe today we get some sort of Donnarumma SBC because of being, being named player of the match for the final. Um, also, just earlier this evening, they upgraded the Jorginho and the Correa cards. Uh, the showdown items got upgraded, Georgina to a 96, Correa to a 96 as well. Really nice upgrades on these cards, really, really, really insane boost. Those are looking massive, right? So if you did Jorginho or you did Correa, you're very excited about those. And those should be the, the final live upgrades, right? Those should be the last upgrades. No more upgrades to PTGs. No more cards should be upgraded based off of, of performances. Those were the last ones that we were waiting on, so that happened yesterday as well as an 83 times 10 pack and weekend league plus objectives uh which are again it seems like they're going with the every other week method like we were talking about in last night's video that they go with the one week with a nation requirement then the next week they go with the higher win thresholds higher win amounts but no nation requirements so again 10 16 and 22 the normal weekend league plus objectives are back for this week it makes me think next week we will see one of those specific nation requirements for that. So with footies coming out, what can you expect like on the market as well? Now, right now, SBC fodder is still up, up, and away. Now, one thing I wanted to mention as well is, again, I don't know if I showed this right away, but just footies car design has got the gold outline to it. Uh, just like this honorable mentions, Sadio Mane, we see the gold outline on these cards a lot when they're like an honorable mentions or like a voting card. Um, those are just two of the, the options right there. I just wanted to show that right away as well. But SBC fodder is up. I do think today on Wednesday, we will still probably see some sort of 
uh, upgrade pack SBC, something along the lines of maybe that 87 times three, because that is an SBC that we have actually had dropped for the past four weeks in FIFA. I went back and looked, uh, sorry, the past three weeks in FIFA, not four, this week would make it four. We have had that 87 plus times three released in the game. And that was an 85 rated squad last week, which of course, with these summer stars items still in packs, there'd be a lot of potential to pack some big boy cards from that SBC. So that's something to watch out for today. I would keep my eye on that. Uh, if that is something I would expect that SBC to come out today, probably something along those lines of another one of those casino SBCs, if you will. But it might be kind of a quiet day on Wednesday, to be honest. They keep dropping preview packs as well. They drop 50K pack previews. It honestly seems at this point that they are just trying to... Um, try different things with preview packs and see how the market reacts kind of as like data maybe as we head into FIFA 22, which we do expect preview packs to show up again. Now, again, for the footies promo, if that does come on Friday, these preview packs, unless EA change their minds and re-up it, these will not be happening any longer in FIFA. This will, what it seems, revert back to the quote unquote old way and they will not be in the game anymore. It'll just be the normal old way of opening packs. No previews, no nothing like that. So that again ends on Friday, which of course is in the next couple of days, but th those are still impacting the market as of now. Now, as we head into rewards, I know tonight is rewards Wednesday night. I wanna talk about that a little bit as well and how that could impact the market. Since there's still a lot of SBCs that are out at the moment, like an icon upgrade if we get more SBCs today, um, there's still a lot of demand SBC fodder last week was still pretty high. If you take a look at the uh, some of these individual cards, we'll take a look at like this Guerrero card. It's an 84 rated item, 8.7K. Last week, they peaked on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They were the highest on like Thursday still because of the guaranteed Summer Stars pack that we saw last week. Now, if you're somebody that's still holding on to some 84s, 85s, or 86s, even with rewards coming later tonight, Honestly, last week, there was a lot of demand for SBCs. You can probably still hold on to these items. They might dip a little bit at rewards, but if you're banking on a guaranteed Summer Stars from Team 2 or a, or a pack that would, that would guarantee Team 1 and Team 2 cards, which I think is very possible... Uh, that would be a very po a popular SBC that everybody would go and do. And again, whether it's an 84 to an 87 rated for that item or for that squad, you would probably see some 84s, 85s, 86s going up on the market. So if you wanted to still hold on to some of your fodder, you could, but the safe route, of course, with rewards coming and that SBC definitely not guaranteed would be to sell some of those items um, and take the cash before there would be su supply tonight. That is just my opinion there. And talking about some of these Summer Stars items. Now, last week, Team 1 of Summer Stars, some of the most expensive players like Ronaldo and like Messi. I remember Ronaldo was down to like 4.1 million coins last week at rewards. And then he went back up to like 4.3. Some of these Summer Stars items from Team 1 last week got low and then rebounded after rewards. Like they actually got low and they hit their lowest points right before rewards. Now, of course, Ronaldo has come down in price because of the insanely cheap cards that are in team two of Summer Stars. But if you're somebody who's looking to buy Neymar, Neymar's lowest this week, I believe, has been like 4.2, 4.3 mil. Like that is absolute, absolute lowest. Right now, he's just under 4.5 mil. I would expect Neymar to be sold off a little bit and I would expect his price to drop some later tonight into the weekend league rewards timeframe because people are gonna be worried about his supply coming. But if you see this card drop down to like 4 million coins flat or maybe even like 4.1 or 4.2, I might get interested because again, this is a card that so many people want to have in their teams. There's so much demand for it and that when rewards actually come, a lot of people might get their coins, just go out and buy this card and you'll see him go up on the market. So I'll just be, I would just say uh, that we might have some similar fluctuations to last week. And again, I feel like the, a lot of these cards for the type of item that you get and the quality of the item that you get. These cards are just really, really cheap still. Sterling 1.16 mil. This is basically like an English Neymar, if you will, inside of this game with the five-star, five-star with those upgrades that they gave him. So again, for the lower tier cards, like a Cavani, right? That'd be a card that I'd be interested in at rewards. This card is gonna have a lot of pack supply, but this guy bounces around in price so much. He is such a high demand item in this game because of the Manchester United links and the four-star skill move upgrade, in my opinion, making this card really, really hyped up. Same thing with Ferran Torres, a lot of hype around his item. Uh, Chiesa with the five-star skills and the success of the 
um, Italian national team. This guy was like 390,000 coins. He's bounced back to 420K. So these cards are moving on the market all the time. I do think that if, especially if none of these summer stars would be included in the best of the first batch, if footies is on Friday, I don't think you have to be worried about these cards being released right away. I think EA would re-release those maybe in like a batch two or a batch three. We'll see later on, of course, as we learn more about what this promo could be. Um, so I wouldn't expect, I, I mean, I would expect some of these cards to actually rise up out of packs. And today, tonight into tomorrow might be one of the best times to get involved with those. Unless there's a little bit of panic on Friday. Of course, we'll see what happens with that footies promo. It's a very popular promo. People are going to be very excited for it. But that is just what I wanted to talk about with these cards today and what I could see happening on the market with them so again today i think an 87 times three is the most i mean it's not guaranteed but it's a very possible sbc some sort of other pack sbc i don't know about a player sbc because we had uh one yesterday with Di maria maybe a donnarumma maybe an italian player I know, I know a lot of you guys are hoping for a pedri because of how he performed um i just don't know if that's going to come i feel like we're just getting kind of too late in the line with this promo ending for them to put out an sbc for a pedri card to give you to give what they would say is enough time to complete it so i hope we get a card definitely not counting on it though but again it seems like footies is coming from the big tweet from this car design that was dropped tonight and that is very exciting because footies is a huge promo with a lot of hype and again with the ratings on some of these cars that they're releasing right now maybe that's why renato sanchez did not get in to the summer stars promo even though he had um upgrade worthy performances right he played well even though portugal didn't go very far in the tournament he played well maybe this is why maybe renato is going to be included in the footies promo so that is just one thing to think about and kind of i guess hope for as we head into the footies promo another upgraded Dominson could be on the way so that is the news for today boys if you did enjoy this video hit a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out